though it's the Poppy Playtime one year anniversary today and in roughly 10 minutes as I'm filming this some new chapter 3 teasers are going to be released now I'm going to tell you everything about this anniversary and what like mob entertainment have done and stuff but first here's some quick chapter 3 updates and screenshots so first we got told that chapter 3 is going to be so fire I think everyone already knew that and then he said we really took our time with it and made it really triple A quality that's very good to hear and I'm sure they're right to be honest and by the way all of this is coming from a developer so this is real this isn't fake he also said that they're on the polish phase and obviously I'm not a game developer but like if I know anything about game development I can pretty much say that I think the polish phase means that they're on the home stretch and they're pretty much just like fixing up any bugs or maybe or making little bits of a game slightly more better and enjoyable. Overall the chapter as a whole is near enough done but we're just fixing little things here and there just to make it absolutely great pretty much. And now here's what's got my attention. Some playtests have it two times as long as chapter two, some even longer. The first time you play chapter two it's roughly around an hour and a half or two hours. So to hear that it's going to be possibly over twice the size of that, then this is probably going to be like a three and a half hour or four hour chapter, possibly even longer, which is just insane. So if that chapter comes out late at night, then I'm probably just going to wait till morning to play it, because obviously I'm going to be recording me play forever when it comes out, and I don't want to be really tired playing it. Eventually we got some screenshots leaked, so here's the first one. So this shows like some, like a pretty run down factory area. So we've got some like windows over there, there's an upstairs area there, which we'll probably be able to go on or maybe not i don't know now this looks like soft play equipment so maybe we're gonna see a soft play area near this area and there's actually a new toy here it's like some sort of i can't really see it properly some sort of weird green robot thingy it could kind of be like one of them little toys that we saw in the storage room in chapter two where it doesn't really have much significance but it could also be a very big toy in the chapter it could be one of the main enemies the graphics on this look really good as well there's smoke over there as well for some reason and here's the second one this shows like a hallway with like it seems like these things, these pistons can like be pushed down. That's exactly what it looks like. So this could be used for some sort of puzzle, I guess. Looks like there's another place down there which you might be able to explore. Lots of papers on the floor and a fragile cardboard thingy there. The visuals are really good on this picture in particular, as you can see. Now there's not a ton much to say about these photos, but just like little sneak peeks of a chapter, but like it does really get me hopes up for the chapter's quality. And someone mentioned the trailer and he said that they're currently working on it now. I think that was kind of obvious at this point. I mean, like, how can they not be working on the gameplay trailer at this point? He also said that he imagines it'll come out sooner than later, so it probably means that it's gonna come sooner than any of us think. He also said that originally they wanted to release chapter three today on the probably playtime two year anniversary, but we decided to delay it to make it better and more polished, as you can see. And I do not mind, but I do not mind waiting like, roughly an extra two months to have a better gaming experience. Shortly after this, you also said that they'll have an announcement about Chapter 3 coming soon. Hold on, I got a notification on it. Someone replied to me. Oh yeah, they did, look. You know, now that I've got a chance, you may have saw my community post about me posting a big video about the FNAF movie. Well, yeah, that's still happening. Let me show you what I've done with it so far. Alright, so this is pretty much the video project of it. As you can see, there's 10 minutes of footage here. And all of that 10 minutes of footage is completely edited, so I've already got 10 minutes of the video completely done. But I still have a lot more recording and editing to do with this video. It's, it's a big one. I don't want to say what I'm doing in this video, though. There's a few things I'm doing in it, actually. But I don't want to say because this is going to be a really cool video. I just don't want to spoil it. But it's about the FNAF movie. It'll be releasing around the same time as the FNAF movie. I've already got 10 minutes of it done. I've still got a lot of work to do on it. It will be out on time, but I'm sure of that. And this is a really cool video, so stay tuned for this. Now, earlier today, obviously it's the anniversary, they announced a new Project Playtime map called Forsaken. Well, actually, no, that's the, new, that's the name of the new phase, not the map. It has been confirmed by a content creator that it is a new phase and not just a new map. And they also said that it releases on the 25th of October, the same day as the FNAF movie in the UK. So the 25th of October is going to be a good day for me in particular, because I like them both. We've also got these screenshots of it as well. Now look at this, look how much detail has been put into this. You can't say that mob doesn't put effort into their games. And it looks like a prism with loads of flaws, to be honest. So I don't really know what to expect from this. I'll be doing a video playing it, of course. Now, they said that in my time, midnight, they're going to be doing some new Chapter 3 teasers to celebrate the anniversary. That isn't exactly five minutes from now, so I need to make everything else I want to say quick before these teasers come out. Now, obviously, on the Chapter 2 anniversary, they did a video on their YouTube channel pretty much showing scrapped things that weren't included in Chapter 2. That was around, like, ten minutes or something. Unfortunately, one of the devs said that they didn't have time to make one of these again. 
because they're finishing up chapter 3 right now. So instead, they posted little behind the scenes clips every hour from 6 pm. I might say 6 pm, I mean in my time zone. Well, actually, in the last hour before midnight, they posted this little celebration video here instead, which is cool. But yeah, you can watch these if you like. I watched them. These are pretty cool. Just show like behind the scenes of chapter 1, stuff that weren't included in the game. I, I like these a lot. Obviously, like I said, in my time zone, it's like only a few minutes till midnight now. In most cases, if it was anything else, then I'd just wait till morning to make a video on them or see for myself. But this is probably playtime chapter 3 we're talking about, this is the real deal. I thought I'd be tired by now, but I'm pretty sure the excitement inside of me is not going to let me get tired. And as we can see, chat's going crazy, it's only 3 minutes now. I am so excited for this, I'm really hoping that they announce the trailer release date. Look, someone else has got OBS open ready to record a reaction video, it's exactly what I'm doing right now. Now oh, I've, got, I've got like a weird feeling inside of me, I'm, I'm just too excited, I like this game way too much. I feel like there's something else I wanted to say on this video before these teasers come out and I can't remember what it is. And whenever I have this feeling that I've forgotten something, I always do eventually find out that I was forgetting something, so like... I know for a fact I'm forgetting something, I just don't know what it is. I like that one from Home Alone. And look, we've even got developers in the chat. Anyone whose name is Red like this, that means they're a developer. So even the devs are getting in the chat now. And Sheep Rampage is live streaming right now. If you're a Poppy Playtime fan and you like getting all the new Poppy Playtime news like as fast as possible, then Sheep Rampage is your go-to guy. He always posts videos on any new Chapter 3 updates or anything, like, as soon as they come out. Oh my god, I've actually got a weird feeling. I'm so excited for this. Oh my god, I'm so excited. I I've literally got a weird feeling inside of me. What is going on? It's just a game. Calm down, Jacob. Here. We. Go. I hope that wasn't cringe. Nah, look look how crazy all the other people in chat are acting. There is no way me saying, here we go and caps this cringe. Oh god, it's midnight. Also, by the way, the time in the bottom right here is wrong on this. I'm getting my motherboard changed soon, so that should be fixed. But yeah, this is wrong. It's literally midnight for me right now. Oh god. What? What is this? Oh my word, these visuals are mental. Look at this. So we've got, still got the blue hand and the green hand. We've got a purple hand thingy here. So we're gonna have a purple hand now, are you joking? And look at this crosshair, why is it? It definitely looks different. You can even tell just the grab pack hands have been altered as well. They look more detailed. It's like a massive red room. These visuals are insane, man. Oh my god. And what's down there as well? It doesn't seem to be much. Look, they're posting new screenshots rapidly. Oh my god. Actually, no, there's only two hours we're talking about. What? What is this? This is what he does to heretics. Heretics meaning. A person believing in a practicing religious heresy. Oh my god. So, Sheep Fan Page just writes about the whole cult theory. So, there's some weird religion in probably place right now. There's a three in the background. Okay, this definitely needs to be brightened up. Save image as I am going to brighten this up live on camera. Okay, we've got it here. So, all I need to do is just go into adjustment, go into brightness. Um, okay. How can I make it any brighter as well? Nope. Okay, just forget that then. Highlight, that should work. Shadow. Yeah, it just goes all grainy like that though. Um, what else, what else, what else? It's definitely... Let's just leave it like that for now, actually. I'll sharpen it, make it look at... No, actually, that looks terrible. Okay, now big screen. Now look, here's this monster. What is this monster? I cannot tell for the life of me. But it's got a purple thing, so it might be the same thing from the teaser trailer. Wait, this is what he does to heretics. Oh, okay, so this guy's being killed by the big monster because he was religious or something. Or he believes in this weird probably place time cult. Now, is there any secret in here? Let me try and get rid of the grey and see if I can see anything better. Alright, you cannot tell me this does not look like Huggy's mouth or face. Just look at that. That's That looks exactly like it. And look, there were little faces inside this fella here. What are they? L look, little eyes here. And then you can see its mouth, it's purple. No, I'm not seeing anything else, so maybe they actually didn't hide anything else in here. Hmm. Okay, so that's the only two things we've gotten. I'm sure someone else will discover more secrets about these photos soon enough. Actually, let me try something else. Look, as you can see here, this is called Chapter 3 Anniversary Teaser, the actual file name. So, let me save the other one. I can't get a thing up. Here we go. So, let me save this and see what the file name is for. Okay, it's just a bunch of random letters and numbers. But I also just checked some developers' Discord messages on the server, and they haven't said anything else either. So, that's what we've got on this. But you know, that was very interesting and I'm really excited for this chapter, so stay tuned for any more updates and I'll see you next time.